So it's probably about time I updated you guys. What's going on? What's happened with the van? Where am I? What's my plans? A quick recap for those of you that haven't been following along. I've been building a van for the past year, year and a half. Certainly had a few obstacles plus a few breakdowns. So it's been nothing less of a nightmare to be honest. And then I went to leave about a week ago and I broke down again. I obviously had to get the van to the mechanic. Luckily I wasn't far from home and managed to limp the van back. And then it was a matter of getting my mechanic to it or it to the mechanic. So we'll quickly rewind three or four days and I'll update you guys on what happened. Right, so I've just had a word from the mechanic that he can see the van tomorrow morning. So I'm going to try and drive halfway to him tonight and then the second half first thing in the morning. So I'm going to hit the road and see how we get on. You can hear it, but there's foxes and owls all over the place, screaming and shouting. Managed to get myself parked in this big, empty space next to the road, not far from the mechanic. Probably a 10 minute drive in the morning, so even if the van won't start, you'll be able to tow me. <laughs> this is bizarre, I'm sat at this park up, and it is absolutely silent. At my mum's, you can hear the river constantly. If the wind's blowing from the right way, you can hear the main road as well with the lorries on it brain can't make heads or tails of it. It's just so, so quiet. sun coming around the corner it's just so beautiful I'm gonna have to go for a walk so I'm gonna shut the van up and go we steg so I've just spent the morning just chilling out and hoping for the best gonna drive to the mechanic now it's half eight hopefully he's he's already up and fingers crossed it's just seals and bolts or something. Hopefully I drive away today with a van in fully functioning order. Please, 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 please. So the breakdown was caused because diesel was leaking from one of the injectors where it goes into the cylinder head and was then spraying onto the exhaust manifold, turning into smoke and then entering the cab. So the mechanic got the injectors and the seals out and one of the seals was looking very ropey. So with new seals in, we were pretty hopeful that that was going to be a fix. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> he's fixed. I'm driving back to my mom's now with a fully functioning, fully serviced, perfectly running vehicle. We couldn't see any diesel whatsoever bubbling up on the cylinder head or around the injectors. So as far as I'm concerned, the van is running and it is time for adventure. Of course, I'm working for the next two bloody days, so there's not a whole lot of point in hitting the road because I'll just be sat in the van doing work. So maybe I'll just take these two days to say my farewells and just make sure that I'm packed and ready to go. Now, I've got to make up some time. In fact, I've almost lost 10 days of travel time that I was going to use getting south. So I'm going to be doing the trip a little bit quicker. All right, no need to. <laughs> I love it when you pull in at a passing place. Like, she had one right next to her, but I pulled in and no, no wave, nothing, just a, a face like that. A face like a bulldog looking piss off a nail. I've officially just said goodbye to my mum, so it is time to hit the road. The van is completely packed and yeah, the road awaits. I swear to God, if I leave this time and I break down, I'm getting a nine to five job and renting a house. <laughs> Let's get on the road. Set the clock, zero miles. My van is washed, topped up with supplies. Got myself a bottle of wine to celebrate tonight and I'm gonna head to one of my favorite park ups. It's not too far from home, so if I have forgotten something, I can get back, but I will have everything. And I'll pick you guys up at this park up as I begin my journey. Good morning, guys. It's my 
first morning on the road. I sat down with a coffee down by the lockside and it's probably about time for a swim, to be honest. It's quite a mild day. I put my hand in the water, it seems alright. It's definitely colder than the river I've been swimming in recently, but that's that's not a bad thing. I'm having a nice calm morning here and then I'm actually leaving Scotland today. How mad is that? I don't really want to leave Scotland. I would love to just head north, but I've got things to be doing south and to be fair, the midges are here. <laughs> so it's a pretty good reason to head south. And I've seen a lot of Scotland. There's a big chunk of England that me and Lisa missed when we were travelling, so that's where I'm headed. I'm headed south. As far south as you can go. Maybe even into Europe. We will see. Who knows? Let's see where the tarmac takes me. Oh, that is colder than the river. Crayfish claw. <laughs> Once you've caught your breath and you actually start swimming, it's absolutely fine. Because obviously you start to generate heat in your body as soon as you start moving. It's better than just lying there going, <sighs> oh, oh, it's dead nice. Anyway, I'm going to get back in. I want to get four or five minutes of this at least. It's really nice actually. Oh my god, I love this place. <laughs> I love it so much. I'm getting quite used to the water temperature now. To be fair, in a few weeks' time, a lot of the bodies of water are going to be that warm. It won't really be cold water therapy anymore. I'll just be swimming. <laughs> swimming is one of the best exercises you can do, really. Exercises so many muscles. Gets the heart going. Oh. It's one of my favourite things about van life. I mean, today, van's up there somewhere. Can you see it? I don't know. But that's my garden. And this is my bath. <laughs> I don't know how much you'd have to pay to have that in a house, but I suspect it would be an unreasonable amount of money. So that's what happened with the van and my first night on the road. After that, I just kind of fired across Dumfries and Galloway in Cumbria, and I'm now in the North Pennines. At least I think I am. I don't know. I kept weaving in and out of these counties. They kept changing every so many miles, but I'm pretty sure I'm in the North Pennines. And my plan is to head south, really. Uh, aiming for Cornwall. I plan on being there in a week or two. It's an area I've not explored at all and I'm keen to get there before the school holidays start and see some of the beaches and just some of the beauty down there. I've got a wonderful friend down there, so it's gonna be great to have a local guide so that I can explore the south of England, really. Like I say last year, I just didn't spend much time there at all. So I'm actually gonna be heading into Yorkshire today to a park up that I've stayed at before. And then after that, I'll be staying at a park up near my grandma's and then I'll be heading to my grandma's, which is near Leeds, so I'll be making good progress. Then I don't really think I've got anything in the Midlands to do, so I'll be across to Wales into Snowdonia, down into Pembrokeshire, got some friends I need to visit there. Glastonbury, Stonehenge. Outside of that, it's just kind of winging it, just making up as I go along. But there you go, that's what happened to Bruce. Here's where I am, and that's my plan. I'll catch you in the next video, guys, where I'll show you what I got up to here in this beautiful, beautiful area of England. I went on a fantastic long walk, saw some beautiful waterfalls, but you'll have to catch that one in the next one. Thanks for watching as always, stay safe and be kind.